Okay. Yeah. We are in homework. Page 349. Right? Right. <laughs> Question 37. Give me a second, please. Yeah, at seven, we have one over four n is done or equal negative 17. So we divide both sides and one over four. So m will be less than or equal negative 17 by four, four by 10, 40, 28, 58. 68, right? Negative 68. Question 38. A less than 40, right? Question 39. 39. Negative C. C more than 121, right? We switch the equality symbol, right? Because we will multiply both sides by what? By negative 11, right? So we switch, we forget that. So question 40, we have D more than or equal, more than or equal 68, right? D more than or equal 68, not less than or equal. Question 50, sorry, 41. <clears throat> 41. We have X less than or equal 20, right? X less than or equal 20. You may write it. You may write it like this. It's the same. Huh? X less than or equal 20. X less than or equal 20. It's the same. Question 42. <clears throat> P less than P or F heavy. F less than. We have negative 6 or 6 times 72. 6 times 72 to 1, 43. See, at least down 432, right? Question 43. <clears throat> uh, N, I cannot see guys. H is more than, H is more than, there's no need to switch the sign, right? Because we have 2 over 3, H more than 10, 14. First, you multiply by 3, right? It will be 2H more than 14 by 3, 42, right? Dividing 2 both sides, H will be more than 21, 44. 44, we have uh, negative 3 over 4, negative 3 over 4, J more than or equal to 12, right? First, multiply by 4 both sides, it will be negative 3, J more than or equal to 48. Now, divide by negative 3, J will be less than or equal to negative 16, right? Should be the same answer at the end. Okay, so J less than or equal negative 16. I switch the sign here. Question 45. Why what? Because I divide the negative 3 here. But you correct. Good. Fine. Question 45. Negative one over n, negative one, sorry, negative one over six n 
less than or equal negative 18. Right? Multiply by 6 squared. Huh? So negative 1 and less than or equal. Come 6 by 18 negative. Are you sure? 108. Now divide the negative 1 and will be more than or equal 108. You switch it. N more than or equal 108. Question 46. Question 46. We have 6P less than or equal 96. Divide on six both sides, P will be P will be less than or equal what? 16? 16. 16. What's in 47? 4 are less than 64 means R will be less than what? 16 also, right? Question 48. Uh, y will be more than negative 16. Y more than negative 16, right? Yeah. Because we divide both sides by negative 2, so we switch the equality. Question 49. 49, we have a 26p more than negative 26 means p more than negative 1. What? 0. We get a 26 divided by 26, 0. Wow. Really wow. So here T. T more than negative 1. Question 50. Negative 6 D more than negative 72. So D will be less than 12. So divide by negative 6 both sides. Question 51. Negative 3z less than or equal negative 33 means that will be switch the sign, it will be this more than or equal 11. We divide both sides by negative 3, switch the sign. Question 52. Uh, B will be less than or equal. Negative 3 over 4. I didn't switch here, right? Question 53. B will be more than 5 over negative 2, right? I switch the sign here. Question 54. F will be less than, it is more than, it will be what? Less than 5 over negative 7, right? These are the answers from 37 to 54. Switch. Check. It's okay. It's kind of graph. The graph is easy one. Just be careful that when you divide or multiply both sides with negative, you need to switch the inequality assemble, right? Huh? Yeah. Only with negative number. But if you divide or multiply with positive numbers, it stays the same, right? Got it, guys? But let's see, Omar, what you want. Yes, see, Omar. Mister, can you go to the previous page? Yeah, like quickly, Bess? Yes. Quickly, quickly. But yesterday we started with, listen, 6 tool of solving multiple in policy, right? We did example one. Right? We did example one. We did example two. Example three. We finished example three, right? Let's do the check of example three, right? Yes. Mr. Omar, are you done? Yes, yeah, I yes, am. Yes, and
let's go to we are on module six lesson two right module six lesson two so solving multi-step inequalities multi step inequalities we are on page 352 and today is 3 January Guys, don't chat, please. Don't chat. Okay. Yes, and again, I try to unmute you. Yes. Now we are on the check of example three. We have to solve. Use your copy book, guys. If you don't have, if you don't have a space, solve. This is check after example three, right? Solve eighty-eight. 88 more than or equal minus 33 plus 11 multiplied by a parenthesis. Inside it, we have x plus 8, right? Now, yesterday we did example 3, it has similar idea. We said first step, get rid of the parenthesis, right? By distributing mean the 11. This 11 distributed. On the parentheses, the first step. So we have 88 more than or equal negative 33 plus 11 times x, 11x, 11 times 8, 88. Right? Now we have two sides. Make the variables on one side, make the numbers on a different side. So here we have 88. You can shift the negative 33 here and the 88 here, right? So it will be 88, this one, plus 33, minus mean 88, more than or equal, still what here, 11x. So I shift all the numbers to the other side, right? Now, 88 minus 88, 0, still what here, 33, more than or equal, 11x. Now divide both sides by what? So x will be less than or equal to 3. You can write it like this. x less than or equal 3. I didn't switch the symbol. Huh? Still less than. But we always read. What? 3. 3. 3. 11, 33 divided by 11. How much? 3. So you need to ask. Yeah. Yeah. On this side, it will be negative 11. Ah, divide by negative 11, don't forget to switch the inequality. At the end, this the answer will be x is down or equal to 3, all. Okay? Now to graph it, to graph it, this is the 3 closed circle and read the inequality. x is down, so we go to the left. Done? So we are done with this lesson, right? But now let's go to your homework for today, page 353. Any questions about not today's example or the check yesterday's or the Saturday about the examples of yesterday also? Any questions about yes? What? No. Yani you need to, you want to switch this here? Right. Let's solve it to the other idea. Same, 88 more than or equal negative 33 plus 11 with x plus 8, right? Other check, 
88 equal more than sorry more than or equal negative 33 plus 11x plus 88. Your friend wants to shift the 11x here and bring the 88 here. The same, but the 11x will be negative 11x more than or equal negative 33 plus 88 minus 88, right? Now, 88 minus 88, zero, it will be negative 11x more than or equal negative 33. You will divide by what now? By negative 11. When you divide, you switch the inequality. So x will be less than or equal to 3. But it's the same of our answer here. Right? The same. But here I didn't switch the inequality. Why? Because I divided by 11, I kept 11 positive. But here I didn't switch. Do you see here I switch? No. X is done, X is done. Still X is done. But here, when you shifted the 11, it will be negative. So you need to switch it. It was more than, it comes, it became what? Less than. Okay? But now, <clears throat> Doesn't check your mic. You have some problem there, maybe. I try to unmute you, but Hello? yes, you can talk now. Yes, uh, Mister, can you uh, please solve question forty-two in the homework? In the homework, what's yes. in forty-two, right? Yes. Forty-two, fine. Give me the quality, yeah. <coughs> um. If over it's what we are uh, page uh, 349 yeah give me the inequality please in the question 42 negative 72 is less than negative 72 less than f f uh, divided by uh, negative six negative six right so yes. how we how we solve one step dividend equation, we multiply both sides by the divisor, right? Which is what here, yes. you get a six. So I'll multiply both sides by negative six, right? Now here, negative six with negative six done. So what here? F, but I will switch this. It will be less than, and multiply here, negative by negative positive. Six by 72. This is 12, 43, right? Yes. So 432. F less than 432. You can keep it like this. You can make the variable to the left. Read it here. Read this. F less than 432. F less than 432. So what's the problem? Uh, I forget to flip the sign. You flip the sign here in this step, right? Yes. Because you multiply both sides by what? By negative number. By negative. Right? Yes. Don't forget this step, please. So, now, we are done with this lesson, but let's take a look to our homework for the first few questions. How to prepare the inequality. So we are on page 353, okay? I will help you in preparing in qualities for some questions. But at home, what you will do, you will solve the inequality, right? We write the inequality and then we solve it, right? So let's see question one together, page 353. Question one, see it? Now let's read together. Are you with me? Yes. J wants to rent a metal detector. Right? A rental company charged a one-time rental fee fifteen dollars. A one-time, get it? One time means when you go to rent this thing, before you rent it, you will pay how much for one time? At fee. Okay. So plus plus two dollars per hour to rent a metal detector. For how much hours you need to pay $15 per, then you will count the hours 
each hour needs how much to done. Got it? You understand the idea? So do we know the number of the hours? No. So let's assume that to understand the situation here. Let's assume that that I will run this detector for three hours. Okay. So first I will pay what the fifteen plus three hours. Each hour is two. Three hours six. Fifteen plus six twenty one dollars for all, right? So assume that I will run four hours. So I will multiply four by two. Then I will add the fifteen. Okay. I will multiply the number of the hours by the price or the cost of renting one hour. That is, so let's see. <clears throat> J has only thirty-five dollars to spend. J has what? Thirty-five dollars only to spend. Take a look to question A. Write an inequality to represent this situation where H is the number of hours. J will rent a nickel, a nickel detector, right? So H is the number of hours, yeah. So we are on page one. 353, we are in question one, part A. H is what H? The number of hours, right? Right? In part A, they want us to prepare the inequality. In part B, they want us to solve the inequality, which you prepared in part A. Got it? So I will help you in part A. Part B, you will do it in your home. So H is the number of hours. Let's revise the situation together. He will pay $15 one time, right? So we have 15 plus $2 for each hour. And H is the number of the hours. We don't know the number of the hours, right? So how we find the cost of the hours? Hmm. What is the cost of the renting without the 15? Two for each hour, right? We have H hours. What the expression will be? Huh? Two H. Right, we multiply the number of the hours by the cost. You check the cost of each hour. Assume we will rent it 10 hours 10 by 2, 20 plus 15. 15 right? Assume 6 hours 6 by 2, you will pay 12 and 15, 27. Right, so but we don't know the hours, so h hours I will multiply 2 by h 2. Multiply was H. He has only how much money to pay? More than or less than? Less than. Less than or who he has the 35. Less than or equal 35 was. This is the inequality. How in part A? In part B, what you will do? You will solve the inequality. Okay? To give me values for H. Done? Done. Huh? Yeah, how much? Done? Yeah, but question two now. Question three, you need to focus with me a little bit, okay? Quickly, guys. Question two. Yeah. Pedro, Sebastian, Emmanuel, Martinez are each one year apart in age. What does this mean? Huh? Yeah, and they have one year apart in each year. If someone, the age of him, uh, let's say 17 hours, the other will be 18, the third will be 19. One hour, one hour, uh, one, uh, one year, two. okay? So, Pedro, Sebastian, Emmanuel uh, are each one year apart in age. The sum of their ages is greater than the age of their father, who is 60. The 
sum of the three brothers هذول اسمهم بيدرو ومانويل وسيباستيان the sum of their ages is bigger than their father who is 60 so we have more than what 60 the side the left the right side more than what 60 but we don't know the ages of the boys right right 19 uh sub 30 31 32 25 26 27 28 29 30 21.5, 22.5, 23.5. I can give you numbers forever. Any three numbers more than 60, right? So, this is not equation. This is what inequality. Inequality means you have a lot of solutions, okay? But we need to know what are the limits of the solution, okay? So we have three boys. Each one is older than the other by, yani the younger, the middle, or the older, okay? The three ages together are more than the 60 years old for the age of the father, right? Do you understand this? Good. Start. Part A, write an inequality to represent this situation where X, practice, where X is the age of the youngest brother, so in part, question two, part A, huh? X is what? The youngest age, I would say, right? But if X is the youngest, the middle, what it will be? What the age will be? It's a plus one, she one year been at home. يعني if x is 15 اللي بعده شو حيكون x plus 1 يعني 15 plus 1 right so x is the youngest the middle will be what x plus هذا ال middle boy let's say middle ها طب the big boy it will be what x plus 2 x x plus 1 x plus 2 the difference between x and x plus 1 is the difference between x plus 1 and x plus 2 is 1, right? Now, the total or the sum of these ages together had a mean the older boy, the oldest, right? Akbar The sum of them should be what? Less more than mean is 60. So, x, the, the inequality now. X plus the middle one, X plus one, plus the third boy, the young, the oldest boy, X plus two, three, plus X plus two, all of them should be me more than what? 60. More than 60. Here, X plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 should be more than what? 60. This is the inequality. Now what you need to know, you need to solve it. How we solve it? We add the like terms, then the numbers we add them, shift, we have multi steps here, right? That's all. So this is part A in questions 1 and 2. Now you need to solve the others also. So select with me. One, now one A we do it, two A we do it. You will do B and C in one and two, right? B and B, C, done? Now, yeah, question four, A and B. Question five, A and B. And go to the next page, please. La three Mabdiya. Go to the next page, please. 16, 17, 22, 23, 26, 27. Okay, guys. 
So the first page is about to write and solve inequalities. The second page is about to solve inequalities with multi steps. You understand? Thank you. That's all for today. Guys in the online, any questions? Stop talking, guys. Guys. Down. Yes. Yes. Roar. Yes. Five. I will go. Yes, Khaled. Yes, Mister. And number two, uh, part C. They want the age of the oldest brother. So yeah. when I get uh, the age of the youngest brother, I add two, and that's the oldest thing. So, uh, think, right? think about it, and tomorrow you can ask me about it. You need to think in your, solving your homework. Okay. Thank you. Yes, yeah, Abdullah. Uh, Mr. and the eldest brother, why did we add two, not one? Because X is the youngest, right? Yeah. Now I need one year difference between each two boys, right? Yeah. But the middle is how much? Uh, one year older than the youngest. Mashi, what's the expression for him? X plus one. Because the youngest X, the middle will be X plus one, right? Yeah. But add one to the X plus one. It will be X plus two. Got it? Yeah, yeah. Yani. Assume that the youngest is seven or 20, okay? Assume yeah. the middle will be what? 21. 21. The oldest will be what? 22. 22. So we add two to the middle, to the youngest, right? Yeah. Look, from 20 to 22, we add what? Two years. Two years, that here, X, X plus two. But here we add what here? One year. One, so X plus one, X plus two, got it? Yeah, yeah. Thank else, you, Mr. Else in the online, guys. Thank you so much. Don't forget to solve your homework. We select the homework, right? Stick with the selection, please. Thank you. Mr. can you repeat the selection? Who select? We said we did the equality for A and A in questions one and two, right? Yeah. So question one, you will do part B. Question two, you will do part B and C. Question okay. four, A, B. Question five, A, B. And on the next page, questions 16, 17, 22, 23, 26. And the 27. Thank you guys. That's all for today. Goodbye.